Hello again. This is Roger Koch Barr for the Baal Electricity Course, Week 1, Lecture 11. I thought it would be useful to have a problem session. Let's see if we can uh, work the following problem. So our problem says, suppose we have a source right here. And just one millimeter away, we have a sink right there. What is the potential that results from this source and sink at this point up here, A? And what is the potential that results from this source and sink at this point, B? Now you notice that although this diagram is not to scale, it gives you the idea that the separation along the x-axis between the source and sink is small, only one unit. And both the source and sink are a long ways away from either field point A or field point B, because field point A and B are 10 units away on the z-axis. So if we take these segments in turn, we could say, look, this problem is done readily enough by the fact that uh, we have an equation that gives us the potential due to a source and sink combination. We compute 5p as i0 over 4 pi sigma r, etc. And if we specialize that to our particular situation, we'd say that means that phi for a is equal to i0 over 4 pi sigma one over r minus one over r prime. If we go over to our diagram and we say, how much is r and how much is r prime? Well, r is the distance to the source. r is the distance from field point A, where we're computing the potential, to the source. That's distance r. r prime is the distance from the field point A to the sink. Now, if you look at these, this problem, you would say, hmm, R and R prime are just about the same, because A is a long way from the source and a long way from the sink. So surely the answer here is zero, or if not zero, inconsequential. It seems like that would be the case, but it's just not true. The difference between r and r prime may be small, but there is a difference. And because there's a difference, this term, 1 over r minus 1 over r prime, is definitely not equal to 0. I'll write that up here, too, just for emphasis. That term is not equal to 0. And as a result, when you compute phi a, it will have a definite number value. I'll leave it up to you to complete the calculation. If we now move on and look at the second part, the B part of the, of the problem session question, it's the same question, except it just asks for a different field point. Now we're asking for B rather than A. So if we go over to our expression, say, well, uh, just as before, we'll make it phi b now instead of a. Still is i0 over 4 pi sigma, 1 over r minus 1 over r prime. Then you look at that and you say, hmm, this is just the same as we had in part A. So therefore, the answer is just the same as in part A. Is that right? Well, actually, no. Because R is the distance now from point B, from point B to the source. So R is here. And that's just a little bit longer 
than it was in part A. And our prime, the distance to the sink, is just a little bit shorter than it was in part A. So even though the equation is the same, the two distances are, are a little bit different. Some people would say, well, in order to distinguish these symbolically, you might want to put a subscript on the R's. So I'll do that here. Indicating now these R's come, come from field point B rather than field point A. So once again, uh, I'll count on you to go ahead and substitute the numbers in. I think you'll find it worthwhile to do so. You have to do 1 over RB and 1 over RB prime with high precision so as to retain any significant precision in the result. But the result should not be zero. And in fact, because of the symmetry of the problem, we can see that if you do this, it should come out to be the negative of the result that was found in part A. Check and see if that's what happens. So here we are in the problem session, part C. In this part of the question, it asks, what is the voltage between point A and point B? Now we're in very good shape to answer that question because we already know the potential at A and the potential at B. So the voltage between two points is simply the difference in the potential at the two points. So we could say VAB is equal to phi A minus phi B. You have the values for phi A and phi B from the previous, sec previous sections. So if you could go ahead and substitute those in and put the result right here. Please do that now. So now I thought I would ask you a more difficult challenge question. If you look at the calculations we have done so far, you'd say, well, now look. 5P involves, for either P of A or P of B, if it's A, we could say, okay, it's 5A. And if we want to, we can put superscripts on the R so we have R A, R prime A. If we want to, we can factor out I zero over four pi sigma as we did before. But when you get it all done, what we're doing is we are computing two terms and each term is very similar to the other. They're just a little tiny bit different. That seems like a situation that needs improvement. Because when you compute two things that are very close in value, and then you subtract, it's confusing, it's repetitive, and it's prone to error. That is to say, human error, but also error in computer calculations. I mean, most numerical error comes from doing subtractions of two quantities that are very similar because then there's a big loss of numerical significance. So is there a way, mathematically, to reduce the two terms to one? And the answer is no. But if you say, is there a way to reduce the two terms to one to a good approximation? The answer is yes. And the reason the answer is yes is because to a good approximation, if you know if you know R, and if you know this angle in between, that angle, which we know that angle because we know all the coordinates, you can estimate R prime with good accuracy. 
if we can find R prime in terms of R, possibly also using that angle, then we can reduce this expression from two terms down to one. Can you do that? I'll leave it to you to see if you can figure it out. <laughs> so we'll conclude this segment with this nice picture of one of the main quads at Duke University. Thank you for watching this problem session. We'll see you in the next segment.